Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for everyone who hits that like button and gives back to the channel and support. So it's greatly appreciated and it helps the channel to grow. If you're having issues, because I did get a few messages with the subscription, you might just have to hit that subscribe button again. Sometimes we have some glitches and I've had some issues uploading. So maybe um, unsubscribe and resubscribe and remember to hit that notification bell because that on your phone, because that will actually alert you when we upload videos. Guys, sometimes I get videos or I get um, told to record a video and then Spirit says don't upload that until a certain date or time. And I'm really guided by Spirit, so I follow that, okay? So sometimes we have to be a little bit patient with videos coming through. I kind of get told what, I, what and when I need to do things. So today I thought I'd jump on It's Raining Outside and do a little bit of a talk because this week with all my clients there, there was a theme coming through and and i'm hearing it with other friends and people places situations so we're going to recap on some energy for you okay and kind of give you an update you might already know the information but sometimes we need to hear it again or reset in the energy okay so we're going to talk a lot about energy here look at that healing energy so I just want to do a quick recap so we can understand energy so bear with me 2020 was a four so that was about facing and dealing with our karma or our karma being served okay facing those hard challenges sitting our exams okay 2021 is the five it's about change revamping making the changes taking the actions and resetting the cycles they're the energies for everyone okay overall 2022 is a six that is about your heart your destiny and alignment within this heart resonant so destined alignment okay it's hitting a lot of relationships family friends hearts desires you know awakenings within that so keep that in mind because i'm hearing a lot of people say from december january right through to february they're saying what is going on with the energy what is happening and i did say in one of my um uh, recordings that you know particularly february it was tower after tower after tower so what we mean by that is the divine is now stepping in where you couldn't wouldn't step up so we're going to talk a little bit about that and a little bit about what's going on because now all of the planets and and on top of that on top of our spiritual or divine path um which we've all been shown and some of us um rejected it or went back to an old way an old system an old way of being um you know and some of us just move forward so that's why we've had a lot of healing a lot of transforming a lot of shadow there is a lot of shadow coming up particularly the last three months we've had it for the last six months but the last three months it's exacerbated so all of people's shadow is out it's up that's the universe stepping in showing you what you don't want to see what you couldn't see what you wouldn't see and so that's what's happening because most of the time we have free will the universe says you go and do it you go work it out you get on your journey we'll oversee it but we will step in when you it is destined okay and a lot of people still fight that destiny we've talked about that and we are going to talk about that in a minute but what here's what i want to say because actually no spirit said stay with that so here's what we want to talk about let's talk about destiny and karma because we're going through such tumultuous energy it, it's it's frenetic okay it's the shadows out the chaos is out our fears are being triggered our belief systems <coughs> and one of the reasons that's happening is because we have all the planets now um, with astrology under Aquarius we, we they have moved now fully at the end of December into an under Aquarius and they will stay there for definitely this lifetime and beyond okay so what does that mean that means quantum 
So quantum energy is unlimited. It is fabulous, okay, for expansion. And that's why we've been developing over the last several years or 10 years or seven, you know, five, six, seven years about expansion and tapping in and going up and raising our frequency and, and all of that. Now that is going to be amazing and super fast and super quick and higher and deeper than we've ever been before. But remember in that, we're talking about energy and tapping into energies, we, th there's new information that needs to come through yet. New information, new, we, because we kind of now have stepped into no boundaries which can be a very dangerous, chaotic situation, okay, If you talk in terms of energy and frequencies. It's amazing. We have this unlimited potential. So what we need to remember here is about grounding, earthing, connecting. That will be the challenge now, not being disconnected, you know, not being in your own bubble, off down your, your own um, galaxy um, frequency, off in the ethers, you know. So that, just, just remember that. So we've gone from a system, from an upbringing of, you know, the old system where the planets were sitting sort of um, previously our lifetime and you know 200 years for 200 years to 500 years has been under systems authorities boundaries um, uh, we've had a foundation we've had a base okay so it's like me saying um, pretend I'm um, a teacher in a class of 50 students and we say, and we walk in and we say, look, I know we've had all these rules and regulations and, and, and you know what to do when you come to school and how to do it. And we're just here to tell you there's no rules, no boundaries, no structure, no anything, do what you want. And I'm not saying it's like that. That's the energy of it, the feeling of it. So then everyone sort of gets panicky. And we try to grasp to old beliefs, old foundations, old systems, because we're used to having a foundation. And those foundations are outdated, outgrown, outstructed, out deconstructed now. Uh, um, we are being given upgrades. We are be being given new gifts, talents, information, frequencies that have not been accessed before. We don't know the rules. So our, our safe, our survival self, our safe self, our secure self can't grab a foundation at the moment. And so we go into fear. Or it's like grabbing air. <laughs> we feel like we're grabbing air. And it's very confusing and it's creating a lot of chaos for people. And I'm talking energetically and that's why they're not sure what's going on or how they feel or or need healing or or you know direction or you, you know and I have said you know the, um, uh, mental instability is going to go through the roof because under this chaotic energy there's no base there's no grounding in Aquarius energy we're talking just frequency here so that might help you understand and the scatteredness. But, and on top of that, the universe has stepped in with this alignment, with this upgrade frequency freedom, breaking free, which means we have to break free from a lot of systems, a lot of belief systems, a lot of things that just don't work anymore. And a lot of people uh, have run back to their south node. They're supposed to be heading to their north node. I think I've got that right around, right, around the right way, but they haven't. So the divine is stepping in now because there's also with that upgrade of frequency, a lot of us can't access a lot of old or ancestral energy on how to do things because it's outdated. And it's kind of like, let's pretend the, uh, the, the ancestors saying, well, we, we haven't dealt with this frequency before. We can't help you. Even the guides, you're getting higher guides come through. You're getting guides have been upgraded with frequencies. There's a lot going on here, guys, for you light workers 
workers, for you healers, for you star seeds. Um, we've got new higher vibrational frequency um, guides with frequencies coming through. Um, and by the way, they ascend to you. You can't call them in. You can't conjure them in. You have to just keep clearing and raising your frequency and they are then, um, you know, assigned to you or, or, you know, by the destiny, by the higher up, okay? So there's a lot going on in the energy frequencies of people right now. So don't be surprised if you're feeling lost, feeling scattered, not quite sure. And even if you are sure, it's a feeling of, I'm not really sure. So it's very confusing energy, and that is freedom energy. That is kind of like, well, do with it what you will, you know. So we kind of haven't lived like that. We haven't been programmed like that. We've been working towards and opening it up. So just, look, this is just, yes, yeah, see, air. <laughs> These cards, beautiful. See, air, journey into air's um, paradigm shift. You know, when I said grabbing air, you can't contain air in a box. <clears throat> I hope I'm making sense because this is, you know, so we're going to talk about, yeah, and journey into wholeness. See, this is this unlimited, see, the soul star chakra. Um, it's the soul calling, what the soul wants now. There's a destined, you know, lots of blueprints got got changed and that's never happened before so we also have that feeling of hang on i came in with a destiny with with connections with you know uh, soulmates and karmics and this and that and hang on why is everything so confusing now or a path or a journey or a um, career or a this or a that why is it so confusing now because blueprint prints change blueprints have changed for some upgrades happened in those blueprints and so we're kind of stuck here with this situation we're wondering why i'm so confused here and because destiny's stepping in now going that's because there was an upgrade that we've never had before and things have changed and things have been rewritten, but, you know, we're just doing our daily life, trying to go through the expansion, the transformation, the upgrades. So it's very confusing and it's very emotional. You know, we, you are going to have an overflow of emotion and this could be in the soul because of what I just said, because there are some paradigm shifts going on here guys and and for you fixed signs and we all have a we no i shouldn't say that you know we all have somewhere i have um capricorn somewhere in my chart i you know that's about the only thing i have in my chart um that is an, a, a fixed sign like an earth sign fixed signs are um uh, scorpio aquarius i think it's taurus capricorn virgo um i think there's another one um you guys are going to really struggle with this energy because you guys like foundation, security, stability, structure. This is how I do it. Systems. You know, under the old system, you felt at home. Imagine me saying to a fixed sign or an earth sign, okay, there's no rules. There's no structure. Oh, and by the way, um, there's no end to that. Can you feel what that does to the, your frequency? I'm really um, a mutable and flexible and, and all of that in my energy, but in my signs, but even I go, what? What do you mean? There has to be some form of structure. <laughs> but we are getting downloaded with that stuff and, the, and there's a structure will be formed. But there's a real conflict of energy here, guys. That's what I'm trying to kind of... Um, explain just to help you we while you're going through this because we have air air is mental energy it is a paradigm shift it's like grabbing air where is my paradigm what is my paradigm and do you feel anything when you grab air it's quantum it's aquarius air gemini libra aquarius quantum uh journey into wholeness so they're trying to bring you into this 
full reset cycle of who you are, then you reset you. And we have the soul star chakra really trying to, um, you know, we could have a recreation of souls if the blueprints are changing for some of you, upgrading into frequencies we have not process before if you look at the schumann resonance you know that's people who who study the actual frequencies of the earth um that's their job it's scientific they have there's never been so much light bring th brought through the photon belt they've had frequencies where they've never experienced frequencies of those magnitudes before you know we are in this paradigm shift whether you believe in this or not or you think this is a bit far-fetched there is science backing this stuff up oops no i was going to pull a card and spirit said shuffle so you know um we have in some of you those souls those soul um programs are a little bit stuck to the old and and feeling this soul pull and connection but also we have you're having this upgrade and and universe is kind of saying oh no you've got a new destiny now and you're like hang on but i'm feeling this soul pull here but i'm feeling this upgrade and pull into the new that is very confusing guys you know so the grounding is important okay and you you are going to have to just sit and actually move through this. And what they're saying, North Node, it is about creating a new paradigm. I think I've got that around the right way. I'll probably get yelled at if I'm not, if I haven't, I think South and North Node. We're supposed to be moving towards the North Node, creating the new, the unknown, the new destinies, the new ideas, the new paradigms. Oh, they just yelled at me again and said, keep shuffling. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's why, and I want to bring something up because this is something someone asked me. The reason we have been is talking about making choices of directions and those coming up. Here's just an example. Okay. I'm not saying this is happening to you. It's just an example. Let's say you chose a between two paths, job, person, place, situation. And, and you chose to go back or back into, let's say, karmic or toxic um, you, behaviours, whatever, people, places, situations. What you signed up for is you are saying we're in quantum now. Bring me more of that. Bring me an unlimited lesson in that again. That's why we were saying and pushing all year, all last year, make the changes, you know, choices, pick the higher self, move towards the new, you know, um, the old is ending or ended out because it was meant to. And a lot of people do go back to their self, no, okay, or karma. But what you just said to the universe is sign me up for karma, don't sign me up for the new. And we've been trying to bring that message through. Now we are in quantum. <sighs> Either way. But some of you, some of you may, I'm not saying, I don't know, it, it's, it's different with everyone and your charts and, and you know, you had a destiny this, let's say you had a destiny this way that would have bring, brought wealth and prosperity and you thought you were gonna get that regardless but you chose a different uh, to stay or not move forward, you're not getting that now, okay? Or you will, let's say you will, or you will end up there, but you said, no, I want to go on a really long karmic journey on that, and you will pull in every karmic person, whether it's work, love, friendships, groups. Now you said, I want to sign up for the karmic stuff. Now, I'm only talking if that's lower vibrational and toxic. And that's why we were always saying, raise your vibration, choose the higher path, choose the, the new, choose the unknown. Can we change that? I can hear panic right now. Yes, I think we can. And I heard Spirit say that's up to this individual journey, lessons, choices, where someone's at, where someone's got the ability to move forward. I think there's a lot in that. So there's no one-off answer. I'm only giving you that information because somebody asked me about that. And I said to them, if they've chosen that, they've also chosen that frequency to be in. Okay, that's their frequency they choose. 
So they kind of do sign up for that karma. And, and, and I'm really cautious now what we move into. That's why I've been talking a lot about the devil card that's come up endlessly. It's about choosing, and the lovers, it's choosing higher and lower self. It doesn't have to be about lovers. It's choosing the higher and lower self because guess what? Quantum going into that frequency. And that's why I'm always saying stay in the light, stay in the light, okay? Um, this is just guidance. Take with it what resonates. If it doesn't feel right for you, do not. It's not right for you, okay? I'm not here to be all-knowing. I just, I'm just guided. I just get what I get and I, I share it, okay? So if something does not resonate with you, it's not for you, okay? Um, nobody's all-knowing and we don't know all the answers. This is stuff I get told through clients, and I try and remember it and wrap it up and then share it to you guys. Um, it just might help you. Yeah, endless opportunities. See, that's just what I was talking about. You know, it's really mindful or be really mindful where you're choosing, who you're choosing, what you're choosing right now. A, we're going into quantum. B, we don't really know, have any grounding in that. At the moment, we're learning, we're experiencing, we're expanding. B, you're going to have C, D, whatever. You're going to have karma with that. Um, <clears throat> and you really are signing up for stuff now with those south node ending, north node, what you're picking, what you're choosing. So be very mindful. And here we've got endless opportunities. See, quantum, more quantum. Um, or maybe really think about this stuff, guys. Maybe maybe you sit with it. Maybe one thing I said you can sit with and it might help you make choices, make decisions, understand how you're feeling. And anything when you go into the unknown or the new, even myself that's been doing this forever and a day, um, you know, I'm getting new energies, new, new information, new downloads that I feel new in. So, you know, it's across the board. It's, you know, be kind and gentle to yourself. The sound of the universe, I oh, can't shine your light. I can't make, like, serious, the message is so clear. See the crystal keys, crystal keys coming through. Um, so definitely information, and we know what are crystals? High vibrational frequency. You know, they're starting to even access and bring through, and they're in the earth. Crystals are actually in the earth. So they're, and what did I talk about? The new energy's earthing, okay? Um, or the new energy, I shouldn't say that, that's not correct, Spirit said. Um, um, I talked about the earthing, and isn't it funny, crystal keys 22 in the earth getting grounded now we've got the air we've got the expansion there's the quantum energy the air energy paradigm shift journey into wholeness 33 a four wow 33 is a six 33 is also a master number we've got 10 soul star chakra merging with the divine see i said the divine stepping in now the divine is stepping in bringing where you couldn't make the shifts and the moves into this quantum. So remember to earth. We've got water, overflow of emotions here, a three, one, a three, new beginning, 23, five, endless opportunities. And we've got a six, sound of the universe. And what did I say? 2022 is the six. Heart, relationships, destiny, passions, desires, destinies destined alignment getting in alignment with that and and it's the universe that's stepping in and and shine your light stay in the light and shine your light okay because there's going to be a lot coming through here um for many of you and yes the transformation the transcendence is amazing you know we've never been there before all of those things brings great things through for you but here's the thing protect ground Yes, the frequencies are chaotic and no, you, you're probably in total confusion and transformation, see, just right as I was speaking about that, you're going through a transformation right now, okay, and it is from the old to the new and the universe is stepping in and that's what all the towers are about.
that will be happening this year. <sighs> okay, higher heart chakra. Yep. Sacral chakra. Realm bridger. Yeah, we're in a transformation. There's no um, bridging at the moment. You know, we're in that chaotic, oh, so we're trying to bridge a realm, you know, being in quantum but also earthing, um, um, being in our south node but how do I get to my north node, you know, leaving those past karmic cycles behind within us, within our journey or blueprints or whatever you want to call them. And with that, all your belief systems have to be changed and upgraded or healed and and so and then we're moving forward and what the universe is doing now with these transformations and these energy blueprint upgrades frequency upgrades is they they're only just forming the bridge okay the realm bridger so <coughs> excuse me <coughs> throat just closed over I got told to stop talking now and I will because transformation they said that's enough transformation here and what have we got our ancient future we are moving into a brand new future okay and <clears throat> that's what the transformation is and the frequency coming out of this person and there's DNA strands being upgraded in this card. I don't know if you can see that properly. Probably not good enough to see it. Um, it's an amazing card. And so it's showing me that there is a lot of frequency upgrade, DNA upgrade, transformation. And in all that, we always have this overflow of emotion So it's quite big, guys. It's really, really big, and it is about um, our evolution, okay? So, look, that might help you a little bit at the moment just with what's going on in this very chaotic energy. And we are dealing with our shadow side among many other people's shadow side. All is being revealed, and whatever is revealed, at least you might have an understanding or that you do feel so ungrounded or lost or confused, okay? So spend, spend that, you know, gracious time with yourself or quiet time. Okay, guys, I hope that helped. I hope that answered a couple of questions that I got um, asked from a few people and it made sense. Okay, take care. Bye.